Hi guys, welcome to part three on another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal, and as I said, this is part three of the Splot Buy-in Day. Um, bought a lot of stuff down in Splot again today, so I'm about to show you um, the precious metal section. Already you saw the gold ring out of Jeremy for £60, but I've now got the selection here, including an early Rolex. Rolex is Tudor but I got a nice Tudor watch to show you too so stay tuned I'm going to show you some of the uh, silver bits I've had and the gold um, and it's really is some nice pieces guys so hopefully you'll enjoy see you in a minute okay so I'm going to start off with this early uh, Tudor watch it's in nine karat gold um, and Tudor is early Rolex now what's it worth I don't know uh, but we are going to have a look in just a minute. I think it needs attention um, a little bit. It is ticking uh, because this has gone round somewhat. It was down here when I bought it. So that must be the minutes as well as these. Um, in fact, what we'll do in a minute, I'll test the time and we'll see. Well, we can see where the time is. It's on 37 minutes past 10 so we'll give it a minute or two and we'll see if that gets anywhere uh, it's all marked inside the case and I've struggled to get it open once this morning um, where was it I scratched it once or twice but they're opening it I'm not going to scratch it anymore for the video um, but that's going up on eBay that is today depending on what uh, money it goes for so we'll find out in just a minute but anyway this little Tudor watch, pre-Rolex watch, stands me in a £40, guys. It's probably £30 of gold in there. So, I'm not going to go far wrong. I'm gambling a tenner on the fact it's an early Rolex. Uh, next, then, I bought a selection of thimbles. Now, I know thimbles don't sell as a rule. However, they were 30 pence each, so this little group here owes me £1.50. We have solid silver there we have it solid silver one and i get between 10 and 15 pound for solid silver ones we have a chinese cloisonne which is as i've already said is the art of doing the wire work on the body and filling it up with a glass paste or enamel whichever way you want to call it and then firing it to form the pattern this one here I kind of liked, which was the uh, Tower of London. Here we have Robin Hood, I think it's Robin Hood. Could be wrong, but it looks like Robin Hood to me. And then this one, I love this one. Kennedy Space Centre, Apollo, what number are you? Apollo what? You can't just be Apollo, it must be the first one then. So the Apollo, the Kennedy Space Station. What an interesting thimble. Probably not worth a lot of money, but uh, as a little job lot, I may put the, and the silver one goes in my case, obviously, but the others I may put the four on on eBay and see if there's any value in them. We'll have a look together now in a minute if there's any value in thimbles at all. Um, next, I had this case, a little beaten up. Um, and this was one of my mistakes now I bought it quick out of a lot of silver because I was in a rush because everybody was snatching at the silver you can see it's fully hallmarked but look at the split down there and down there now I paid £20 for that and I absolutely love it except for those two splits they don't really stand out that much and I could have them soldered and smoothed for very little money I suppose which I may do um, but it stands me in at £20. So I'm, I'll probably chuck 30 quid, 35 quid on in, just get a quick profit and let them sort it. Uh, what was it on weight? I think it was about 50 grams, something like that. So let's have a look on weight. 43.4 grams. So it's about 15, 18 pounds of scrap silver. So I haven't really lost a lot of money if I can't sell it. Uh, while we're on the zero here, let me grab these. We have a beautiful pair of nine karat gold cufflinks. 
and there we have it 33.3 grams they owe me 30 pounds don't bear with me guys sorry that's right there we go 375 nine karat gold beautiful finish so a pair of those i'm going to be looking for about 60 pound for that pair in the shop really are nice and worst case scenario um what am i gonna get 33 pound back i haven't lost no money at all now in with the rolex for 40 pound i was quite clever as you know i have a window display where all cheap silver is 10 pound a necklace well i threw in this one which is little glass beads and silver beads all solid silver i threw that one in for free so there's going to be 10 pound of my 40 pound back on that uh, tudor and i also threw in this one for free which is a nice little cross still got somebody's hair so i hope to god that wasn't ripped out at the after a night out um so yeah nice silver necklace again so of the 40 pound i paid for the tudor watch I'm gonna get 20 of it back on these two necklaces. So that's gonna really owe me 20 quid, so I'm on a winner. Next, I had a set of sterling silver cufflinks. Well, they're gold on silver, they are. And they are quite nice. And they were three quid. You know, you can't mourn it now for three quid. Uh, ah. Next, guys. Cost me a fiver. It's not gold, don't get excited. It's silver, gold on silver. Uh, but it's fully hallmarked on the clasp. Um, but again, gold on silver or yellow silver. It's quite expensive. Uh, so I'd imagine that's gonna be about 15, 20 pound in the shop. Uh, any more jewelry in that before I go now? I did buy a load of Olympic coins. Now, as a rule, I don't buy Olympic coins because I go to the bank and do bank runs and get them. However, the boy who brought in all the silver this morning brought in a ton of silver coins that I've already packed it up. But they were the good ones, you know, shooting and what we got. Don't know what the hell that is. That's shooting again. Not sure. Swim. No, I think that's just an Olympic one. It's got a swimming, it's got shooting, it's got everything. Cycling. I've been asked to bring them in. You've got uh, Paralympics, I think. Karate. Anyway, as you can see, they're all different and they're all good ones. I paid him a pound each for these purely because I got a buyer coming in this afternoon who will have all them off me at £2 each. So. They, they're a no-brainer. I don't normally pay for 50 pences, but there's so many designs I just can't get out of the bank now. I thought well, I'd rather keep my customers happy and actually pay for them so the customers have got them. So while you're on by here now, let's go through and have a look together. Uh, what are we going to look for? Yeah, we're going to have a look at thimbles a minute, see if any thimbles sell for money. Sorry guys, I'm watching the computer, not the phone. I'm going to go for sold only. Let's see how, what the dearest is and how much. Now you're doing this with me guys, so I have no idea how much these are. Right, oh god, really? Five and a half thousand for one s silver thimble. Shut up, really? Not open out. Right, like £395 for a gouache enamel. That's a lot of money, but that's a nice thimble. A little treen one. Hey guys, we might be in uh, in for a shock again now. Let's keep going. Gold thimbles. 14 karat gold again. Gold again. Hey, I better start checking the yellow thimbles. And the enameled ones. I left enamel ones there this morning. You are a bloody numpty head. Right then. Sterling silver thimble. 1932. 183 pound. Ooh. I better check my thimbles.
box set of 15 lin porcelain thimbles. Christ. 380 thimbles. 150 pounds. They buy thimbles, guys. I didn't think they did, but they do need to buy them. I'm getting excited now. Let's see if we can find some really nice one. That's Charles Horner. That's why that's expensive. Um... No doubt they're going to all, go all the way down to 20 pence, but I'm only interested in the money ones. A collection of thimbles for £125 for five. I can put five silver ones together. No problem at all. Yep, I got loads of those. 1895 Blackberry Thimble. What's the one I got? It's very similar to the one I got here. What have I got in the cabinet? I got, as you can see, if I come over here, a one a, one a, one a, one a, all solid silver, all different patterns. So guess what? They're going to be on later. Didn't realise they were them prices. Job lot of thimbles, but they're still in silver, one hundred and forty-four pound. Ah, oh, yeah. Definitely, my uh, group of thimbles are going to be on eBay by this afternoon, guys. Look at the money on them. I'm getting excited now. That's just a plain thimble, but they eighteen ninety three, eighty eight pound. Oh yes, we getting excited. Three silver thimbles, nineteen twenty eight to thirty four, eighty pounds. Seventy seven plus gold. Sterling silver but they in a case seventy five. Oh yeah. Alright then, so I can tell you now my collection of thimbles is going online today. Seventy three pounds but they for that. Wow. Well, again, enough big monies for single thimbles for me to justify putting the group on. Let's have a look now, uh, if I can find the Apollo on her. Apollo. An Apollo, thim Apollo 11 one for a £5 node. Alright, so let's have a look if there's one currently on there. I got and then we'll have a look for Tower of London oh. well, otherwise known as London Tower uh, no guys well I can tell you now right I'm gonna take a gamble and I'm gonna put all my thimbles together in a little job lot like this those ones and my five silver ones in a row and I'm gonna chuck 125 pound on them all and if I sell them I'll let you know uh, what was next right yeah two to watch let's go and have a look at the two to watch because I haven't got a clue two nine C T Right then, so we got a two to watch, nine carat gold, ladies. It's got sold only because that's all we're interested in. Right then, so let's see if we can find something along the vein of what we got. We've just got the the main body. We haven't got anything else. The strap is um, leather.
Look at the money's on them all, guys, for two to watch. There's one. There it is. That's the one we got. £250 with the same strap. There we go. That's the one. Is it going around? Mm, well, it is moved, but it ain't moving much. That haven't moved, but that have. So it's going to need some work. But £250 were there. They took an offer. But that's in working order, guys. So if I put this out for 120 or best offer, need in work, and we'll see what offers I get in.